Well guys, just getting uh, some last minute things put together here. Head out first thing in the morning for the uh, Tri-State Corn Belt Whitetail Frenzy. So I'm going to be heading out, Gina and I and the kids. Uh, be heading out to uh, Indiana first off, slipping on over to uh, Jamie Powell at um, Palum Up Outfitters there at Sugar Creek Lodge. Hunted with Jamie uh, in the past and uh, Jamie's got some, some good bucks around and he's been uh, sharing some info with me here for the, uh, the past month or so. And some good intel and some good bucks that, uh, that he has. And, uh, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty stoked to be hitting Whitetail Rut in Indiana. Normally I've already hit Ohio or Illinois or, you know, uh, one of those states, but, um, you know, I've, I've held off. I've been in the backcountry hunting so much out here and whatnot, so I tell you, I haven't had a whole lot of time. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to head over to Jamie's there and see if we can't get on some, some good whitetail. And then from there, we're going to head on over to Frank and Brad Williams. And we got some giant whitetail uh, that we're going to be hunting over there in Ohio. Josh has put us down in Booner there. Um, excuse me, not Booner, but a Pope and Young there in, in Ohio. And... Um, we're all excited to, to keep on continuing this out. Josh is actually on his way up to Michigan right now to, to hunt with Brian Plague up at uh, Triple B Outfitters there. So, uh, you know, we got a great group of uh, outfitters that we're hunting on, and uh, we encourage everybody that's uh, out there that's, you know, wanting any type of information on any of the hunters and uh, the outfitters that we're, we're using. Uh, by all means, give us a shout, call us. Send us a Facebook message, whichever you prefer. Uh, we'll steal you in the right direction. But I got to finish up getting things packed up here. And I hear hear Odin out there in the background screaming. So it won't be long. He's going to be in here trying to terrorize while I'm trying to pack. So I got to get a move on. What are we going to do at Sugar Camp Lodge? Daddy! What's Daddy going to do? <laughs> Kill a buck. How big of a buck? <laughs> big of a buck! Oh yeah? <laughs>
is November. What? 12th? Jeez. 13th? Whatever day it is. I've done most track. I said all day yesterday. <coughs> it started raining about 2 o'clock. A cold rain. You know, nothing, nothing bad. You know, just a drizzle. Cold rain where you think, you know, bucks, deer are still going to be on their feet. Especially November, you know, second week of November, man, to the run. The road should be full of swing right here in Indiana right now. I had a small six point come right up underneath my stand right there on this trail. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna zoom in on, check out his glands. Those things was dry as a corn cob. It's drier than that cornfield. It's just unreal. No chasing in the fields. I mean, I'm looking at 400 acres of just fields. Nothing. No chasing. No deer movement. I'm like, here, legally in this county, you can shoot eight does, okay? So that tells me that, you know, there is a little bit of a problem. been in camp now for three days and it's done nothing but rain and I put all my eggs in the basket and the river bottom that I usually hunt on my Scaticoat River was completely just flooded I mean we had to take kayaks back in to get our to get my uh, Spartan Go cam and we were, we were so optimistic about everything that was going on there and it was, it was just, we were just getting a lot of pictures, but yesterday evening I had to come and throw this stand up right here on this little pinch point. We have some corn over here and corn in the back and corn over here and I found this good trail of a little pinch point coming through and man, I was pretty excited. I was like, oh, there's a doe. And we have no trail cam pictures of anything over here. It was just something to throw it up just to wait for the water to subside and get back into the bank so I can, I can hunt this really good buck that's over here in this red bottom. And 
Indiana's got two doe tags, so we just punched the doe tag. Boom. Well, we came in, and I tell you, man, it was uh, been kind of a aggravating. You know, I guess I shouldn't really say aggravating because you know, anytime you get out to enjoy the outdoors and do any type of hunting, it's really a uh, a blessing all in itself. But um, I've sat in my stand here for oh, geez, six days now. The past two days, I haven't even seen a deer. Um, but you know. There's uh, eight doe tags available here in this county, which there's definitely a doe population um, offset as far as, you know, uh, buck to doe ratio. So doing my part on getting some uh, some management here and put a wonderful shot on it. <clears throat> she didn't go 30 yards from my stand here, double under, but um, you know, it's, uh, you know, I, I don't know what to say. It's like, uh, you know, these big old does, big old mature does, you know, um, it's hard to tell how long this thing's been around, but, you know, get get a few of these old ones out of the out of the herd here and let the up-and-comers uh, start bringing out some new stock. But uh, nonetheless, the farmers across are, are cutting the corn, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, hopeful for this evening's hunt, so see what's uh, at stake with that but nonetheless I'm uh, totally happy to take this dill uh, some great meat on the table and best of all I mean my family and my kids they love it so um, <laughs> can be more happy here
Is it a good shot? Good shot, brother. <sighs> good you shot. Sure you sure it's a good shot? It looked good to me, man. I think you may have been just a just a touch back, but you, you buried that thing in him. <laughs> Heck yeah, brother. Heck yeah. Nine pointer. He broke off. It was that ten he broke off. Oh my, this is like crazy, man, because freaking crazy, man. Right there, it just came in like that, and you was like, man, fuck. I, I was thinking wind, I'm, so I'm looking that way, and I see him freaking moving. Come right where those does came earlier. He was in here looking to see where those bucks were fighting after you rattled. Yeah, yeah, he rattled and he came right here. Man, he ran out of there slow, though. Yeah. He's hurt. He's, he's. I think we need to give him a little time, but yeah, but I mean the shot looked perfect. It looked good. You, I mean, it was sticking out his other side a good ten inches. Oh, was it? Oh, oh man. they're it fletching and knocking. Much. Everything's all the way inside him. Right there, maybe. You know what's crazy though, man? It's like I mean, I've been freaking hunting my ass off, and that was the first buck that I ever got a good shot at to shoot man and here it is thanksgiving in here we're away from our families man and trying to put it down thanksgiving hey hey and just hunting hard hunting hard hey Shane, what i tell you man you the brown don't it's the play unibrow, brother. It's the unibrow. you the brown don't play son Holy i God. told you both of us had to wear it and he ran out of there i mean that's i mean those are two longs oh yeah those are too long oh yeah you're a brown he's, amped up. he's amped up, that's why I think he's ran a little bit. 
Yeah, he was swelled up, dude. I mean, because you heard it hit, it go, pow. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, he was so skeptical at first. Oh, wasn't he though? He was skeptical, man. Man, he was looking for that fight hard. He was. He was looking for it. Oh, dude, as soon as he started crossing that I mean, log. He heard him. He heard the fight. Oh, yeah. Not, that's that that's ten. That good ten, man. That's that ten he broke off on his right yeah. side. He's been fighting. Well, you see him scarred up, too, on his mane. Yeah. He's scarred up. Yeah. That's awesome, brother. I tell you, we after 17 days in the stand, it has been 17, hasn't it? 17? Yeah, 17. 17 days, man. This butt has been glued to a stand. First in Indiana, we were on a good buck. Then in Ohio here, I've been in Ohio for the past Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's Thanksgiving, I've been in here five days, sitting at the same stand and we've had wind problems uh just after wind problems um <clears throat> the wind would swirl and you know just gave us a really rough time on a nice buck what day for yesterday mm -hmm. um man he was a good buck but i'm telling you we just smoked a bigger buck right now um this buck came in directly downwind from us i mean <laughs> We didn't even have enough time to like switch the ozonics to where we, to the direction that we fully needed. But I'm telling you right now, that ozonics has led the success of me shooting bigger bucks uh, in the past five years than without it. I never even dreamed of seeing the bucks that I've seen so far. You know, it's just, Derek spotted that buck and holy cow, dude. I mean, he came right in and he was licking his old nose and I'm like, oh man, Looking for we the got fight. the ozonics on our side. And I tell you what, Scott and Buddy, you guys got one hell of a product. And the Bone Maniacs has been putting them down this year for it too, I can tell you that, so. That's pretty bright blood. It's back there, huh? Yeah, there's blood all over that. Well, guys, we kind of had a, a roller coaster of a hunt ever since we left Idaho. I mean, I stopped off at Sugar Camp Lodge there in Indiana and I mean, we've had, we had bucks that we, on the 64, we call the 64, because it's a well 64 acre wood lot that runs right around the uh, Muscatatuck, yeah. you know, that M word river in Seymour, Indiana. <laughs> uh, and end, end up our buddy across the river, end up shooting the, shooting the buck that we were after, but good for Andy. Uh, he hunts hard too, but um, man, and then I had to deal with a few misses over there. And, uh, you know, we come in here to Ohio on Friday of last week, and man, that had to deal with weather again. And I don't know, we put a lot of tree stand hours in, and you know, we're uh, just happy to happy to get this good buck. That's for sure. Hunting hard, and this dude right here is rutting hard too, man. He's definitely was rutting hard. But, decent mass, but he'll definitely do. Good buck for last day I had to hunt, so Thanksgiving day at that.
need about 30 more. Yeah, let's all start screaming. Woo.